Alright, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to a little more Far Cry 4. It is nice to see you stopping on in for this series. Uh, last episode was a real, was a real beaut, you know? Played it really nicely. You can see I have, uh, captured the fortress, uh, Deplora's old abandoned fortress now. Wow. We've got new residents setting up shop here. Not really abandoned, but, uh, it was certainly a little run down. Looking a little rickety when we got here, you know. Uh, this was Deplur's fortress known as Varshikot. Uh, we took him down, City of Pain, and actually made this run through here pretty easy. I think I got a little lucky, my entry point being that, uh, that big mound of earth right there, you know. Came in on the high ground. I'm gonna, I also found like a little, hopefully you saw last episode. Yeah, here's the little well. I'm gonna have to keep my eyes peeled up for, for stuff like this. Alternate entry points for future... Uh, future fortresses because that would have been just really great uh, had I had I been entering and I think I made mention of it in the last video had I actually been coming in here prior to to capturing deplore um, and that would have been a great entry point you know now, I don't know what the forces would have looked like had uh, had it they been at full well at full capacity at full force but uh, it was it looked pretty weak for the most part coming in here did a pretty solid job did it undetected Make sure you go back and check it out in case you missed it uh, again It was one worth watching you can see I get the whirly bird here Positioned here for all time now and in fact that's probably gonna play a part this episode uh, There's one activity a few activities did spring up after we freed it uh, There's one left now. I did the race. There was also a hostage negotiation. Yes, uh, <laughs> negotiation galley style that uh, that had to be handled did that and just have this this hunter's mission left uh, going off and uh, taking care of well some skinny uh, some meat you know probably retrieving meat or something like that uh, beyond that there's really nothing left in the area what I want to do is I'm, I'm gonna want to get back up uh, north here towards Norris territory we've got Willis here who we still have to meet up with for the first time Golden Path the mission in the area as well Herc's a little farther north um, there's other stuff. I mean, I could hit up the bell tower here. We've got uh, the Shanath training ground. That's an outpost that needs to be, uh, you know, taken over for the the Golden Path. What is this marker here? Oh, look at that. Karat International Airport. <laughs> Quite nice, quite nice. All right, so there's plenty to do, um, but I'm probably going to be flying up there once I uh, complete this final mission. Of course, that's not going to get done if I don't shut up and just get rolling, yes. All right, let's go. Let's go. I won't keep you all waiting any longer. You do? All right. Okay, I, okay. We're protecting injured civilians from the ravenous heroin crazed duels. Last time I was doing a mission like this, it was, uh, it was tigers, right? Okay. I'm here to help. Go ahead. Hang in there. I'm on my way. I'll tell you, there's one hell of a battle plane out somewhere. Let's take a look at the map, see how far I need to go here. Oh, we're not going far at all. Just probably hoof this sucker. I was thinking about maybe grabbing the whirly bird. But uh, I can just make a quick run back here. Ah, screw it. We'll take the we'll take the truck since it's right there. Why not? Why not? Although, was it even worth it? Probably not. Alright, so the last time I did this, we were doing it against Bengal Tigers. One got through. Took down one of the good people I was trying to protect. Um, you know, doles, they don't seem quite as... You wouldn't think they'd be as ferocious as the Tigers, or as deadly and dangerous, but, uh, you know, they, are, they have a tendency uh, to be, uh, to travel in a pack, you know? So, that's where their strength is gonna lie, in numbers. Here we go. Thank God you're here. Oh yeah, the mines. Yeah, definitely gonna get some mines down. Not sure where they're gonna be coming from. Try and cover all my entrances though, and keep these mines far enough away from these good people. <laughs> you know? So they don't blow themselves up. I'd better get something covering topside here. Oh, I hear them already. God damn it. Oh, damn! Damn, did he ever go flying! All right, I took it a pair. We got two more rushing on in. Oh, willy nilly! Holy Duh. shit! They just came pouring in. I better replace I that sucker. Oh, here we go! Another batch rolling on it. Oh my god! I nearly took my sofa. How many more? How many more? Where is it? Those things are vicious. 
get that down real quick, real quick. Where is it now? I hear them howling. They hit a mine. I think it was this one. Oh, here we go. Oh, you guys ain't, aren't even getting close this time. Oh, there's one, one broke through. Oh, they're both dead. Ferocious little critters, aren't they? All right, good. We're done. We're done. Can I actually skin these you suckers? See any more? And actually claim a skin. I was thinking, you know, I am on the hunt for new money. You know, sources of income here. I didn't even notice. Did it come in as a... No, it came in toxic. God damn it. Y'all all right here? Everybody still have all their fingers and toes. And unmentionables. How you doing, sir? Leg has seen better days, yes. The strong, silent type. Did you lose a tongue? Did the dog take it? Possibly. What's happening here now? <laughs> Something's coming in. What are they going after? Amazingly, he, he sidestepped the mine. I thought they triggered the mines. I'd better collect these damn things. He saw something, clearly. Something he didn't like. What are those, Baral? Baral moving into the area? I do need Baral, don't I? Clean kill it. Beautiful, there's my double skin. Pretty sure I only need the two. Let's see here. What was I need requiring them for? The ammo bag right there. Here we go. Take down the one. Claim two skins for this sucker. And uh, we'll be good. We'll be golden. Be able to craft up this ammo bag. I'll do it back at Varshikot, though. I think I'll probably set off. I think I'll grab that last mine just to make sure that I'm carrying as many as I possibly can. I've got three. I think that's all I can carry currently. Alright, we'll resupply. Save myself a little money. Look at all those skins going to waste, you know? All those skins going to waste. I feel gypped, you know? Those were hard-earned kills. And the game completely, uh... Well, completely cheating me here. Money I could have used. As there is at least one SIG WEP I would like to like to purchase. I unlocked a bunch of other just kind of standard weapons that I have yet to actually buy as well. What's what's growling at me? Oh, look at the bear. Oh, it got caught up in the bush. It could be best. This could be a fight that, that should be avoided here, Gally. Three arrows. He's still he's still charging. Full steam ahead. Where is he now? Oh, he's swinging for the fences. There's a fourth one into the face. God damn. God damn, you're done, bear. Five arrows, people. Five arrows taking down the bear. Did I need bear skin? I don't think so. But I, it's cer so certainly something I can sell, you know. Oh, put your belly aching, galley. This is this is the way of the life. Yeah, or this is the life. This is the way of things out here. You know, kill or be killed. Law of the jungle. <laughs> and, uh, you, uh, you, 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 I don't know. You don't want to, you don't want to let anything go to waste with these kills either. Yes, respect for nature. Alright, Whirly Bird, I will be over there soon enough, my dear. I haven't done much flying. I'm looking forward to hopping back on. You know, I did early on in the series, but, uh, lately it's been tough to find. The Whirly Birds have been few and far between. Do I need much to refill here? 6,400 for 50 rounds and 10 arrows. Give me a break. Unbelievable. All right, let's sell some stuff here. I never did check to see. I got a clean kill on the bear, too. Look at that. Clean kill used the bow and arrow only. All right, I should check just to ensure that uh, I don't sell the the skins with, while I still require them. So I'm looking for yak and honey badger and snow leopard and Tibetan, Tibetan, <laughs> Tibetan mountain wolf. What is it called? Just Tibetan wolf. Um, the mountain variety, though, yes. One demon fish skin. Uh, we need the mad devil. That's rare. That's rare. And, uh, let's craft that sucker up. There we go. Looking for more clouded leopard. Those wily buggers that they are. Never an easy kill. And a couple more Asian rhinos. All right. All right. Let's go back in here. I'll sell those bear skins then. And, uh, sell the stack. Yes. 15 grand, not bad. Carrying a couple of rare skins. Oh, I can sell the toxic skin. Well, god damn it. Had I known, had I known, I would have skinned all those damn dolls back there. Anyway, not a big deal, I guess. All right, do I want to swap up the weapons? I don't, I don't think so. I think we can pro we're probably safe to 
to move on out at this point. Alright, it looks like uh, the sun is getting ready to set. It could be the end of the day, as we know it. We'll take flight here in the cover of darkness. And let's see, I guess, well, what should we do? You know, the options are there. I guess I need to make a decision. I think Willis is probably the right choice here. You know, he did become available, or we got the radio call from him after taking down this factory. And I never did go his way. I, I think I head off, headed off towards some sort of thank a mission for Shangri-La. So let's go back. Let's go have words with Willis, you know. All right. This, uh, yeah, feeling a little foreign. Like I said, it's been a while. Where the hell's the marker? There we go. All right, let's roll. I'm not, uh, you know, I like seeing the whirly bird in here in the game. I like uh, doing a little flying. But I have to admit, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel as refined as it could be, you know. There's something about it. It feels, well, the controls are somewhat basic. I wish they were a little more complex, you know. Like, you could do a little bit more with the bird up here. I don't know, maybe maybe it's just because I haven't been flying enough. But it just feels a little funky. This is a, a one hell of a long flight, too, when you're thinking about it. I mean, look at this. 2,000 plus meters, I think, probably when we, we first set off. I may have been best to do a fast travel here, but you know what? Kind of looking forward to taking the skies. Bursting through a little, a little low-hanging cloud cover, you know? And, of course, we get this beautiful panoramic view of the mountain range the Himalayas in the distance good luck just as the sun sets behind them and the horrors of night <laughs> I don't know shroud drape this land yes as the goat prepares another killing another sacrifice <laughs> beneath the, uh, the silvery light of the full moon preparing to sacrifice yet another victim for your long, yes. In fact, I should keep an eye, my eyes peeled. I mean, I'm flying over a few different locations here. I was just going to say, maybe I should keep my eyes peeled for uh, for some sort of mask down there. You know, the little those little hot spots that are highlighted. Specific color. What is this? I think this is probably uh, an outpost I've already claimed, yeah. Pretty sure this is where I got ambushed that one time. Trying to chase down that courier. It didn't seem to fly too well. Or, or it didn't end well, I guess is what I'm saying. I think I could do the fly down the bridge. Let's see. Just out of curiosity. Oh, oh, she's going to be a little shaky. Oh, good lord, get her through there. Get her through there, Galley. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think the check engine light lit up. I'm not sure, though. It looks a little brighter than it was before. We certainly, we certainly bumped and grinded our way through there, didn't we? Yes, we did. All right, I saw the little marker for the mask of you along. It's around here somewhere. Probably a little cave action right there. Beautiful. Going for the landing. Whoa! Chopping yourself up there, Galley. Goddamn. Whirlybird not pleased with my decision, clearly, to fly through the bridge. Got a few chops in on me. Oh my god, we're in the heart of Yulong. I'm just waiting till we, uh, we travel to, like, his scrotum or something. Good lord! Just nasty business. What is this now? Dark magic infests this place clearly. Look at, the, look at these two hovering about. Damn rats scurrying all over the place. All right, we'll grab what I can. We'll resupply these arrows. A little bit of loot. Here we go. What do you have to say for yourself, goat? New stash. This place is going to be perfect for the new lab. The locals, including my squad in the army, all think the cave is haunted by your lung. Things are heating up. Newer has her best guys out looking for me. I don't want to end up bollock naked in the arena, so let's be smart about this and keep it on the down low. That's from Jay. You know, well, maybe Jay, maybe this was, uh, maybe Jay is the goat. Yes, maybe he traveled to the heart of your lung. And found a new purpose, a dark purpose seeped into his mind. And he began his reign of terror as the goat of Karat. Here we go. Seeing any sort of write-up from the goat, though he usually leaves a little something behind for us to, for us to read. Not this time, though, and that's uh, that's making me think that maybe he is actually this J fella that apparently tried to set up some sort of drug lab or Roxy still, you know, in uh, in the uh, the darkness, the cover of these caves. 
and like I said, found new purpose after traveling in here. I did, I did it would be underwater, you know. This could be his first kill right here, this fella. God damn. We see the origins of the goat playing out before us. Sending chills down my spine, yes. Let's leave here, galley. This is not a good place. No. Alright, whirly bird. <laughs> Try not to lose your goddamn scalp here, galley. Alright, up we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright. I hear something traveling behind me. It looked like a friendly. This, we're still a bit of a ways off here. Here we go. A little action right up here. Look at that. Cargo truck. Let's see if I can take it down from the air. I will, of course, be quite pleased if I do. Oh, you're done. Actually, I got the courier over here as well. I think I'm going to go after the courier. My biggest mistake in the Whirlybird is I always try to put the nose down for a little extra boost to speed. That's uh, That goes back to my home front days, because that's what you had to do. That's why you see me, like, jerk my camera down real quickly a lot of the time. Alright, looks like he's been dealt with. Well, not quite. Still kicking. Oh, the rhino's doing him in. I'm loving that. Alright, we'll come in for a, a nice... Uh, Gentle landing. Actually, it was anything but gentle. Alright, watch out. We got wild rhino in the area here, Gally. You know what? I do need two rhino skins. Complete this karma event. What's this coming in? Just some local. Some local madman behind the wheel of that car. Alright, uh, you know what? I think I'd be tangled with these or these rhinos. Hopefully, uh, I can keep them keep them isolated. That's, that's ideal. And that's going to be key to success here, I think. Oh no, he's running off. I don't like that. Clearly he looked over. He he knew. Somehow he knew that I have slain. You know. Four of his kind already, yes. He's just another number. Another notch on my belt. My rhino skin belt. Yes. Yes. Come on, rhino. Get over here, fool. Oh, he, he is coming in hot and heavy. All right, he cleared out just as quickly. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got a little backup moving in the area. I do like that. Rhino looking to hide. I've got myself exposed now. I don't like that. Back of the truck with you here, Gally. Uh oh. His mate moving into the area clearly. This that's just foolishness. We all know what happens when you sit in the back of a truck. With rhinos about. Oh my. Get in the, get in the truck. Get in there. <laughs> oh, damn it. We'll ride it like this then. Oh, <laughs> this is wild. Healed up, Galley. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. Hopefully the truck can sustain this barrage. Oh my god. I don't even know what's happening. We're upside down and inside out and we're dead. And at least it was, uh, I'm sure it was fun to watch, you know. Getting rolled around in the truck by the rider. Just relentless. Relentless charge on that truck there. On that vehicle. Alright, I lost the whirly bird now. I know we were getting close. I think we were right on the perimeter of that, uh, that old, that old, uh, factory. The rock and brick factory. Where the, we blew up the, the drug lab. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're not far here now. All right, heading for Willis. Let me claim this high ground, try and work the ridge. I'd love a vehicle. Actually, there's something over here. Some sort of poster. Might as well take it out. Nice toss there, Gally. Nice toss, sir. All right, let's head up a ways. Actually, I've got the truck. Might be a smart choice, but... Uh, you know, there's no road to speak of up here. So I think I'll just set off on foot. Once we reach uh, some sort of drop, I'll probably queue up the wingsuit. And hopefully I'll survive the flight. Actually, the truck would have been ideal. You know, we're still a ways off here. Bloody hell. Eagle looking to ambush me. I'll tell you, those rhinos, they really do pose a threat out there, you know. Because you, you want to maintain the integrity of the skin. I mean, if you're going in there trying to get the skin, 
I mean, you can't go in there with heavy explosives and try and take them down. Chances are you're going to destroy the hide, and uh, it will have all been for nothing, right? And they come in fast, especially when they team up on you. Oh, my God. I had them isolated there for a while, but uh, that didn't last too long, did it? All right. I'll try a little hang glider action. Hopefully, I don't bog myself on the noodle when I dismount and kill myself outright. As we've seen done before, yes. First time for everything here. All right. There's the, uh, the rockin'... The rockin'... What is it? The rockin' brick factory, yes. The old drug lab that I burned out. All right, let's get a little speed going here. Is that uh, is that an enemy posting? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're rolling up on Willis. Not far now. I'll tell you, I'm not liking all these trees. Oh my god. Oh, bloody hell, Galley. That's a hang glider making me nervous. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't come down on top of us. Crush our spine. We would have been left alive, but uh, seriously crippled. Yes, for life. Oh, I got a few rounds in him. Just not enough. Probably for the best. We'll let him run. We'll let him ride off into the, uh, I don't know, into the night. I've got more important things to deal with right now. And no time to waste. All right. The Shanoth Hunters. Now, I thought the Shanoth Hunters... I thought that was the name of this. Shanoth Training Ground. Okay. A little different. Okay. Hey, Jay Gale. Yeah? Son of Mohan Gale. Golden Path founder shot dead. Raised by your mother stateside. Now back in Kirat to fulfill her final wish. Who is this? You can find that out after you help me land my bird at the airport. And why would I oh, want damn. to do that? You're in this to fight the good fight and shoot bad guys, not play 20 questions. The sooner you help me, the sooner you can get back to evoking stand your ground laws on foreign soil. Besides, I have intel for you. Hello? Uh, <laughs> Alright. Are you still there? Ah, great. So, Willis probably trying to land at the airport. Is that what I heard him say? He said he needed help landing his bird. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Should I grab the bell tower first? I don't know. I don't know if it's... If it's worth it. I think I'll probably just head for the marker. I'll tell you, it's looking like it's way the hell up there. That damn courier circling around the camp. Just taunting me. Look at these two. Speaking of taunting, I should shoot the cage open and let you two feel the wrath of that mighty beast. Quit giving him such a hard time. You have clearly bastard him. No sense rubbing salt in the wound. <laughs> you fuckers. Deal with that, fools. And I'm out of here. <laughs> you know? I just didn't like their whole attitude, you know? A little too, a little too arrogant. Have a little respect for Mother Nature and her many... <laughs> her, her many creations, yes. All right. Oh, wow, is it ever... Is it ever way up there? I got a big gorge here, a big canyon to clear before I can even begin my climb up this... Up this mountain. All right. Well, there, you know, with a, with, a, with a sheer cliff like that, there's going to be some sort of grapple point. Look at this here now. Uh, hopefully he's coming this way. Is he coming this way? God. God, I'm glad. We got a trio of explosives. <laughs> Don. Don and Don. Yes. Still rolling, too. Fiery wreck that it was. All right, wonderful. Good. A little XP, a little coin coming in. Nice. A good start to this this journey up this mountain. Do I have anything I need to trade with the Sherpa? I have new things to show you. God, I could probably use a little resupply. I'll do a quick sell. 45 grand coming in here. All right. Refill the ammo. Let me make sure that my body armor is in check. Yeah, I better, I better buy one. 222,000. Let's see. Anything? Do I have enough for a SIG weapon? No, just shy of the cannon. What was the other thing I had available that I haven't purchased? I guess nothing. Actually, no, I do. I could get the HS-77. Of course, I got the Sixer as well. All handguns, though. Nah, screw it. I think I'll leave it. I hope this helped you on your journey. I'm sure it will, sir. I'm sure it will. Alright, can I, can I clear that? 
Come on, Gally, make that jump, sir. Tighten those boots. Tighten up them laces. Make that damn jump. Making me circle around here. All right, we got some sort of structure up here. I hear something growling, some wild boar action here. Whoa. <laughs> One boar. <laughs> Taking exception to the wow I was doing in his buddy there, clearly. All right. The golden path, my homies, got my back. How you, how you, how you like that there, boar? Yeah, that'll learn you. Saga. I've got friends in high places, yes. All right. Is that all that was down here? I, there's a little bit of loot. Might as well claim it. Again, still trying to build up that bankroll. What was that? A wedding portrait. Photo of a dwarf. <laughs> Looking for a photo of a dwarf. All right. Uh, I better hurry up. You know, I get a little short on time here with this episode. Let's read this, though. I know these fight nights are hard on you. I know it's not just me stepping into the ring. It's all of us. But I have to do this just one more time. The people. Karat, they're counting on me. I can see it in their eyes. It's more than an arena fight. It's a, it's a fight for their pride. It's a fight for their freedom. I have to do this just one more time, your beloved husband. And that was the last they ever heard of the man. Yes, that was his last fight. Cost him his life in the arena. But he did go out grand champion. Yes, good for him. All right, anyway. Do I need board? No, I don't think so. Again, it could be something I could sell. But, uh, ah, screw it. We've got a big climb ahead of us, and then God knows how much more of a journey once I get atop the mountain. Um, and then, and then of course, we've got a mission, and I would like to get it in there because I'll be damned if the only thing we're doing this, uh, this episode is some, some stupid doll hunt, <laughs> yes. Or, uh, some defense against dolls. We weren't even off hunting them. We just stand our ground against the crazy. Heroin crazed creatures, yes. All right. I'm maybe getting close to the bell tower. It looks like I am. Let's see here. Ah, no, it's still a ways off. We are getting close to the mission, though. So that's good, at least. A couple more climb points, perhaps. This could be the last one, in fact. No, no, there's gonna be one more. I can see it already. Disappointed that I couldn't make the, uh, the lunging, one-handed grapple toss there. Straight into the climb. Oh, I'm at the airport. Good. I did a flyby earlier and spotted some snipers. Clear them out. And remember, we have a common enemy. Taking out Pagan's men will make it easier to secure the airport for your golden path, comrades. Right. One more thing. You'll need to keep a low profile, like a Republican living in San Francisco. No alarm. Don't get spotted, period. I've got a meeting with the commander stationed at the airfield, and I don't want him to know I have an ace up my sleeve. Once you're done, call me! Got a guy right there. I can't, I can't seem to get the mark on him. There we go. Okay. So, uh, you know, we've got, we've got Willis. Is he circling the skies? Clearly. Needs us to take down these snipers here for him. This is a bit of a long shot. I think I need to do this stealthily. He did, I think I heard him say something about not alerting... Like a, a base commander or something like that. That was a beauty shot. That was a beauty shot. Whoa. I've alerted something here. I've alerted somebody. Clearly that other... Oh, there, I, I swear I see movement down here, ground level. Somebody about to pop their noodle out behind that, that house, I think. Oh, there he is right there. Oh no, oh no, she's gonna be a big fail here, I think. Damn it, god damn it. All right, well, getting my feet wet here. Probably should have just pulled back and, and re, uh, repositioned. Airport. Good, I did a flyby earlier and spotted some snipers. Clear them out, and remember, we have a common enemy. Taking out Pagan's men will make it easier to secure the airport for your golden path, comrades. Right. One more thing. You'll need to keep a low profile, like a Republican living in San Francisco. No alarm. Don't get spotted, period. I've got a meeting with the commander stationed at the airfield, and I don't want him to know I have an ace up my sleeve. Once you're done, call me. 
All right, so it sounds like he's meeting with the commander of the airport. So maybe I should try and limit my work here. You know, try not to take out too many people. I definitely have to do this while remaining undetected. What kind of line of sight do I have here? Do you think I can make this shot? This is a, a bit of a stretch, I would say. Not bad, though. Not bad. On a day's work for AJ Galli. Uh-oh. He dropped down. That can be bad. I can hear... I can hear Willis circling the skies. Alright. We've got a little trench action right here. Now, there is a guy over here. There are a total of six snipers. What do we have back here? That looks like a little nest. Yes, it is, in fact. That looks like, uh, definitely there could, would be a sniper's nest, but no. Well, there could be. I just may not have a uh, line of sight on him. Alright, is that that guy right there? I think I can make the shot from here, or should I try and get a little bit closer? I don't like it because I can't see much of him, you know? This could be a real foolish shot. Like, I gotta be real precise there. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> a little crossover point. You get a little bit deeper in here. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Is this a smart choice? Should it be going that way? I want to try and get onto this building. You know, he's already spooked. I don't him. I, I don't need him, you know, alerting more guys to his... Well, drawing more men into his paranoia. Because clearly I sent an arrow whizzing right by his noodle. We've got yet another crossover point right there. How am I looking here? I don't know. Uh, I can't see what's behind me, but I'm going to take a chance here. Alright. Whoa! Whoa, get on your knees. Oh, we got a guy right there, too. Done. I don't really have a great shot there. I don't feel like risking it. Okay. There's another sniper. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Base commander boozing it up by the looks of things. Got a couple of cronies with him, watching his back. Of course, one of those guys is the one that spoiled my fun earlier. I would imagine, unless there's more men back there. Alright, so there's one. I've taken down three. There's one, two, three. Okay, so I've got all the snipers marked at this point. Alright, let's make a move on this guy. Oh, uh, can he see me here? Do I have a bush or anything? I can, I can, I can pop a squad in. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Get my throwing knives ready as well. Done, sir. Oh my God, he ate that. He caught that arrow with his teeth. With his teeth. Let's see this sucker. Oh damn, did he ever! <laughs> right in the mouth. Wonderful. All right. Now, did I did I hit this guy? Yeah, I did. I did. Couldn't remember if I took a shot at him or not, but I did. I, I I decided not to shoot at that guy. All right. We've got a couple more guys down there. This looks like the uh, this could be the main road leading in. Yeah, clearly. Clearly it is. Oh, where's that waypoint popping up? There must be something of value, like a little poster or something around here. Should I bother going down on these guys? Whoa, that didn't sound right at all, did it? No, no it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. Should I bother going down for these guys? I think so. I think I probably will. You know. Again, I'm pretty sure Willis is here to meet with the commander. And these guys are a little bit out of the way, so... I think I'll probably be safe here. Is that it? Anything else in the area? Alright. Wonderful. You know what? I'm gonna pick this body up. Come on. Grab him there, Gally. Thank you, sir. Just to get him out of the road, you know. The other man's pretty, pretty nicely concealed. This way, if anybody does come in by truck or something, they won't think anything's wrong. They'll just think uh, the, the guardsmen are, are slacking a little bit, you know. 
All right. Two snipers left. Got one guy up there. Looks like I have found my way in. I may have to wrap it after this. I may not be able to complete this mission right now. Is he looking this way? Maybe it'll get a little closer. Seems a little distracted at the moment. Oh my, did I ever blow it? I nearly blew it all right there. There we go. Punctured the right lung by the looks of things. Enough to put him down. Kept him quiet anyway. As he drifted off into the afterlife. Alright, well, now I just, I think all I need to do, when I, look at this, we got a zipline, I'm gonna try and zipline down there, but I think these guys are all looking this way. Is that the last sniper? Let me see if I can make the clean shot. This is not something I want to botch, you know? God damn. Not at this point. Thinking about it far too long. That's bad. I knew I was thinking about it too long. I held the button way too long, playing off of, you know, came off of playing on feel and, and instinct, you know, and uh, just in, in my mind too much with it. Blew it. Got him. Okay. It's safe to land now. I took out the snipers. Nice work. I'm coming in for a landing. Get to the control tower and call me when you're there. Got another guy right there. All right. Anybody else down there? Now what am I doing? Do not alert the commander. Reach the control tower. All right. Well, I know I'm pushing at least 30 here. I don't know if I've breached and gone beyond, and I, I, we could be pushing 40 at this point. So I think this is probably a good spot to wrap this. And, uh, well, I'll pick it up again. Start of next episode. Hopefully you all had a good time, and I hope you'll tune in for what's left of this mission as we, uh, well, we welcome, we welcome Willis to Karat, yes. Hertz his style, yes. Anyway, kind of a disappointing fail to open, but uh, I think the run through here so far has been pretty good. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one, but of course, and as always, until then... Remember why it hurts. Later all.